now we're over in kind of the bench the bench made department we're going to look at the different styles of uh, opening mechanisms uh, a, a kind of modern a type of open, o, uh, opening mechanisms because we can look at a, a easy opening one-handed uh, a griptilian knife by Benchmade now here is a barrage knife and uh, this opening method is called assisted opening and then now we have an uh, automatic knife which is a regular which is a regulated knife uh, these knives are legal for me to sell to most uh, uh, to most uh, customers but an automatic knife is we're under a contract with Benchmade to sell these knives only to uh, law enforcement, search and rescue, firefighters, EMT, and uh, in some cases, uh, collectors uh, that are, are in our state. So the first knife we're going to look at is just a manual opening knife. Now this is a, a knife made by Benchmade, it's called the Grupt, uh, Griptilian, and uh, it is a pocket clip knife with the thumb stud opening, so it's open manually with your thumb, and it has what's called an access lock, which is a one-handed uh, thumb index finger uh, opening mechanism. Uh, this knife is easily deployed in a traditional way, one-handed, and uh, it can also be open, it can be deployed rapidly by just a click of your thumb. Very smooth knife. This is a legal knife uh, in most, most states. Now this knife has a just under a four inch blade so uh, possibly in some areas uh, this not, knife might be a might not be a legal knife to carry uh, in the, in louisiana we have no strict regulations as far as knives other than if you use a knife or a screwdriver or a tool as a weapon then then it is considered a uh, it is considered a weapon when you use it to hurt somebody okay so this is a just a manual open, one-handed knife, manually opening, one-handed knife with the access lock. Then now we go to an assisted, an assisted opening knife, and this is the Benchmade uh, Garage, excuse me, <laughs> Barrage, and it, it opens this this way as we we kind of looked at one of these before. So the way it's open. There's a spring in the in the mechanism, so when you manually start the blade moving forward, then that spring takes over and opens the blade for the to complete the the opening. Uh, this is a legal knife in most areas. It has the speed of an automatic, but again, it is a legal knife in most areas. Uh, what my what. The dimension that might make it uh, a regulated knife in some areas is the is maybe the length of the blade. So, in some areas, you might want to check with law enforcement to see if this is a legal knife. Okay, the next knife is the uh, is again a bench-made knife, and this is a full automatic. So, this knife is sometimes called a push-button knife. In some cases, the uh, early uh, early cases years ago it was called a switch blade and it is open by just pressing this button <clears throat> and the button is also the locking mechanism to release the lock where it can be closed so again an automatic this is an automatic knife uh, is the terminology applied to this knife and the and the mechanism the blade is unlocked by just pressing that at, at button and locking the blade. Uh, pocket clip 
and this is G10 handle material, which is a nice handle material, nice and tough. It also has a safety lock to where it, it cannot be accidentally deployed. Again, this is a regulated knife, and in some states, uh, or some areas, it could be uh, illegal for civilians to carry this knife. So again, uh, regulated, uh, so uh, mainly to law enforcement, active military, search and rescue, EMT, firefighters. So those are the, the three, again, uh, push button or push button knife or automatic assisted opening and a traditional one-handed manual, manually opened knife. Hi again, it's Roy here and uh, thought it might be interesting to discuss uh, multi-tools and see uh, just a uh, just a small selection of, of what's available. So let's look at, at this case uh, camping knife. It's, uh, it has a lightweight camouflage uh, a handle. It has a spoon, a knife, and a fork. So if we got our bowl of chili, we have something handy here. And look, this can fold out. Uh, and then uh, when the red beans and steak comes around, we have a fork. And then, and then look, now here we have a little knife for our steak. Cap opener, another cap opener, fork, knife, spoon. It separates and then all fits together in a simple package can be used uh, uh, separately or, or kept together and just use the knife so the knife when everything is clipped back you have a knife that's still use, uh, usable for whatever chore you need the knife for. Spring back into a nice package. Okay. Now we have the traditional Swiss Army knife. This particular model is made by Vitorinox. And let's look, uh, and I'll need my, my glasses to look at these now. This is a pretty interesting uh, model now. This is called the Evolution. And this is one of the first models by Victorinox that has uh, a locking blades. Now, along with the locking blade, here's a basic tool, fingernail cleaner with a, uh, with a small fingernail type of file here. And let's see. Here's a locking spear point blade. And it has a pretty neat locking mechanism to where I believe this is kind of a kind of a, a version of the line of lock so you press this in order to unlock the blade so that's a, a new Victorinox knife Swiss Army knife with the lock and blade okay moving right along we uh, fingernail cleaner and file lock and blade Okay, we have us a little pliers here, and that's adjustable for the, the thickness of material. You're either nuts or screws, or the nuts and bolts you're unlocking. That's a handy item. So that's the pliers. And let's see, the next tool is here's your Phillips screwdriver. And here's a, uh, a hex nut wrench. And the way it's made, 
it looks like it'll go from a one eighth to a, a quarter inch hex nut, so that can be handy. And the next, let's see, did we see the pliers? Okay, here is, okay, here's the scissors, so you can give yourself a haircut, trim your fingernails, and then moving right along, here's a large screwdriver with a cap opener. Now here's a can opener, a can opener and smaller screwdriver. You could use this to maybe repair your eyeglasses. Now that's just on when I'm turning it over. We have corkscrew. That'd be handy if you had a bottle of wine, you know, and you you don't have a corkscrew at your girlfriend's house. Okay, now here's a, uh, this is a leather all a leather punch and the way it's made with this little hole here you could use this to rough to rough stitch say a rip in your tent or something like that so you could use this as a as a heavy duty stitching needle okay our next tool is a tweezers so you could pluck your eyebrows or pull a, a splinter out of your finger and then after the barbecue, a toothpick. Swiss Army Knife Evolution. That's a handy tool. So we're going from the case camper, Swiss Army Knife Evolution. And here's one of my favorites, the Leatherman Wave. This is a great tool. It's handy because this this uh, blade is an easy opening blade, one-handed, and look, a liner lock, <coughs> one-handed, uh, one-handed opening knife with a liner lock, good steel, good grind. Well, in fact, one of those Alaskan survival shows, one of the hunters used this to skin out a caribou. Use that blade right there. Okay, I'm moving right along here. This is a diamond file and sharpener on one side. That'd be handy to sharpen your hunting knife. Would be. It's just that you can't use it to sharpen that knife there, though. Okay, let's see. Moving right along again. Here's a secondary blade. That's a serrated blade. So, uh, you know, a straight edge will cut about 90% of, of uh, your knife chores. But when you reach that material like rope or plastic or rubber, uh, a serrated edge can go through a piece of hemp rope, you know, just like a razor. So if you got a plain blade, plain blade, and serrated blade, so you got to you covered there knife wise. Okay, and that's and we haven't even opened this knife yet. And I will mention that. Uh, okay. Now this is a needle nose pliers that's part of this this uh, a Leatherman wave. That's a handy pliers, either a very technical work or. The way it's designed, you could do some heavy duty uh, plier work with this. Okay, so we open and look at the tools inside. A scissors. So again, you could give yourself a haircut with that scissors. And then uh, well, let's close it right. Okay, what else we have here? Here's a. Uh, a traditional size screwdriver and this is next tool is okay this is a small screwdriver with a Phillips. with a little yes yeah, with Phillips. a little Phillips on the other end okay so that's I some effort 
for some fine work there. That clips right back in. And again, these tools are, are, do have a locking mechanisms, so that's that's not going to close on you when you when you're using it to maybe break break out of jail or something. I say that jokingly. Okay, here's another screwdriver, and it is reversible. And there's our Phillips screwdriver again, a larger size. It's pretty handy. And then over here, if you get stuck with the can of beans, once you get this open, you can get your open your can of beans here. And there's your can opener. Okay, that's the three different kind of multi tools. Now there's plenty of them out there. But these are real quality tools. That's Leatherman, Victorinox, and Case. Thank you. Thank you.